So take everything that I'm about to say really lightly. Because sometimes everything seems a little oversimplified when it's said in words. Meaning I don't really know what's going on. You can't really label energy as if you know what that is, as if you know what's happening. Yeah, even the word energy sounds funny. But I think overall, we all just kind of want safety. And I think there's survival safety. I think that is kind of fundamental. But then there's, it gets intertwined with personal safety. Like, how I'm defined by myself and by others plays a role in how the body acts, what it does, how it gets safety. And it could get a lot more complicated. Meaning the body starts to act certain ways Um, just for instance, like pleasing people. And then it becomes conditioned in the body. Like that's just a habit that's here. And then perhaps on the spiritual path, you try to undo it. You know, you learn all these labels or in therapy, you have all these labels like people pleasing and yeah, needing validation in that way or setting healthy boundaries. And then there can come a time where all of those labels just don't make sense anymore. You start to question like, was it actually a problem? Is it actually bad that this body is habituated to do that? Does it actually need to be fixed and changed and judged and looked at as bad, not there yet, not good enough, not spiritual enough? And so there was a, a long period where there was a full, it wasn't me accepting it, but there was a full acceptance of how this body was, the patterns and the habits, the way it was conditioned, the way that it sought safety. And you see the innocence of it. You're like, of course, why wouldn't it do that? And then you see from a deeper place that there's, because of suffering, perhaps in certain situations or moments, you see that it's better to say no. You see that it's better to not overburden yourself. You see that there, the energy to do that starts to deplete. It's just way too much energy to try and be there for others or do everything for others. And then perhaps you see that you're afraid of the judgment. You're afraid of what they'll say, how they'll view you. And you feel the guilt and shame.
and you see that it's not a bad thing. It won't kill you. It was never going to kill you. So the learning happens from a different place. It's not because I should be this way. It's because you see it causes suffering, internal chaos. And then you might see how deep this actually goes, that it's kind of odd that I labeled myself as a people pleaser, because now it's obvious that actually everyone's a people pleaser. I'm sure there are more extreme versions, but um, certain things become a lot more clear. You know, we label people narcissists, but actually the person is a narcissist. They can only see their view. They can only see their perspective, their world. They're perceiving the world through their own world. And that's just how it is. So you see the innocence in it all, you know, it's fine. It's not like you can control it. It's not like you can end your world. You you can end yourself. It's That's just not how it works. Perhaps there's kind of like, um, there's more space around things. It's not you that steps back, but there's a stepping back and seeing it for what it is, seeing that everyone's doing it. All of humanity is doing it. Like getting safety in all of these ways. Then you could also see like doing practices in such an intentional way. It keeps you limited in your perspective. You can't really see what's going on. You're not really fixing or changing anything. It could seem like that for the moment, but because what's underneath all of the, all of that is this inherent feeling of not feeling safe or feeling wrong, feeling bad. It's running the whole show. It's running the thoughts and the actions and practices are just one way to cope. And that's another thing that becomes obvious. Everything is seen as a coping mechanism. And I, uh, that word doesn't have a negative connotation to me anymore. It's just like, yeah, of course, we use everything to feel safe, to try and feel okay. Everything. And so when someone's actually really vulnerable and honest and expresses what's simply there, like all the chaos that's actually there, it's it's so refreshing. It's so honest. It's so beautiful because um, you think that you're worse than others. You think that you've digressed or you should know this by now. You should have fixed this by now. This should be gone by now. Um. But no, actually, you're 
fully landing here. You're fully just expressing what's simply here. It's so gorgeous. It's so rare. To me, that's actually um, a really great sign. It's, you know, I know this isn't going anywhere and it's hard to use words like progress, but that feels like progress to me because there's so much out there that is actually suppressing and hiding all of that stuff. It's so surface level fixes and yeah when there's nothing but the shame or the guilt or the wrongness like it's actually really beautiful it's actually a super powerful place to be And then it keeps crumbling. Like you see the more honest you are like, oh, I thought I was over this by now. Or, oh, that's weird that I still care about this or that I'm obsessed with this. And the body's um, acting in very strange ways, but it's more seen like, oh, that's interesting. And it's kind of nice that it could just be here. It's not really a problem. It's not wrong. It doesn't need to change. And all these ideas that I was going to be like this perfect human, this perfect person, all of those dreams kind of crumble as well. Uh, they need to in order for that stuff to really come up. The idea that you're more advanced, it all crumbles. It all dies, becomes irrelevant, doesn't make sense anymore. It's not needed. It's the person that needs to take a stance and claim that they're more advanced. Yeah, so then ironically, unexpectedly, it's not that I was looking for it because I honestly didn't know where I, where this was going. Not that it was actually going somewhere, but um, I didn't know what would come. And it was fine the way it was. It was freeing to finally not judge the body so harshly. That critical energy that is hyper managing the body hyper vigilant assessing constant assessment it started to soften i'm not saying when something feels really tight there there could be a natural questioning of things and like that can naturally happen but overall, the hypervigilance of every move the body makes, that's the thing that goes. And then it becomes clear, like what I was doing on the spiritual path was hypervigilance, was keeping that alive, 
the hypercritical, judgmental energy. It's crazy. It's crazy I was doing the opposite of this. And I thought I was getting somewhere. I thought I was better than others. I really did. I thought I was a better human. And that others who weren't on the spiritual path, not as good. So then you see the joke of it all. Like, it's really ridiculous. And again, not that I expected it, not that I knew where this was going, but that, that need for safety because it was able to come up and be exposed and be expressed and fully allowed and it wasn't a problem anymore. It didn't need to be hidden and suppressed and judged, criticized, seen as a bad thing. It was just here. It didn't matter anymore. It, because of that, I guess, it it just softened. Um. Like just as a story, it seemed to have taken two years or longer, something like that. Um, but I feel like that was the remnant personal energy that just needed to run out of. It needed to run out. I don't know. And then when that goes, it's like, oh, that was the person. And, and things become a lot more clear because now the body doesn't need safety. So the thoughts don't go places. It's not seeking the safety in all these different ways, even in the smallest kind of ways. Um, I'm not saying things can't pop up here and there, but there's just way too much clarity that it's not related to in the same way. It can't be. It can't be seen as important as like, or solid reality because it's, this is perfectly fine. Like, I don't know what this is, but energetically it feels like this is perfectly fine. There's nothing missing, nowhere that this needs to go. And that's true freedom. Uh, and it takes everything. It takes the whole person. That whole needy energy that needs safety. But again, it was really gradual. So it's not like... Like in hindsight, I can say, yeah, I lost everything. Everything went. Everything that I had dreamed and hoped for. It's not a dream and a hope anymore because it was all based on that energy that needed safety. And since that's gone, it's like that dream, those hopes and dreams are not needed anymore. So they just don't arise. Not nearly in the same way. Um, I'm not saying that basic survival needs don't arise and therefore some future thoughts can arise because of that but again it's totally different it's more functional it's more basic it has nothing to do with me practical maybe
You're welcome to interact if you like. You can raise your digital hand and uh, feel free to just express what's going on there. I honestly don't care where you are. But yeah, just feel free to express. 